If you have to ask, you probably shouldn't flush it down the toilet. The city says as we move towards more convenient and disposable products, it's creating some major blockages in the bowels of our sewer system. So what really what should be going into a toilet is basically bodily fluids and toilet paper. That's what should go in. The city is aiming to educate Edmontonians on what should and what should not end up in the toilet with a new campaign dubbed Trash It, Don't Splash It. To kick off the campaign, crews showed off the muck and yuck that had attached itself to the drainage well. Crews clipped apart the ball of goop made of unflushable products like dental floss, rags, and you guessed it, condoms. And they end up causing um, blockages in the pumps. And they can cause blockages in the home as well. Crews have to clean pump stations about 20 times annually, which the city says racks up about 700,000 in additional staff time. If the pipe is damaged, it can cost anywhere from ten dollars to $120,000 to replace it. The city adds that even if a product says it's flushable, it's better to be safe than sorry. And all of these wipes are, are a bit too strong if they start snagging on things. They, uh, they just pack up and they can plug your toilet, they can plug your, uh, your own plumbing system, and they can plug our uh, pump stations. For more information on what can and can't be flushed, the city urges you to log on to their website. Reporting for Sun News, I'm Allison Sauls.